Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today we're making a turkey tagine. First, I'm gonna get some fresh parsley from the garden. Check out what we got in our garden in late November in Slovenia. We got our Brussels sprouts coming in, different plants. Our kale is still thriving, mm -hmm. dinosaur, purple, green. I planted some radishes, but they're pretty small. Our rucola is about ready. I'm gonna cut some of that for Andrea's salad one of these days. Garlic, I gotta pull out some of that. Some fennel coming in here. I think the fennel spread. And this is what we came for, the parsley. Some fresh herbs for our tagine, very important. I have my ingredients ready. Some lemon, oil, garlic and parsley from the garden, ras el hanout, saffron water, and our turkey, which I bought 50% off. Little secret I got. All the meat I buy, I just throw it in the freezer when it's 50% off, and this brings it to under a three euro a kilo. Super deal for today's tagine. All right, let's get the marinade going. Ras El Hanout from Morocco. We're mixing our oil mixture. Uh, that looks about right. I hope that's enough. Saffron water is gonna go in there with the saffron. Oh. This is juicy marinade, that's okay. Break down all that raw El in there. Our turkey thighs, they're huge. We got two of them, I think, or just one big one. One big one, it's gonna take a while to cook to the center of this, but it's gonna be tasty. Put it in the marinade bath. Oh yeah, get it underneath the skin as well. Personally, I think this marinade might be a little too watery, but let's see how it tastes in the end. All right, I'm gonna hit it with the salt, and we're gonna put that in the fridge for about an hour. Check out that big sweet potato that's going in the tagine. Olive oil. Now, the oil is hot, medium-high heat. I want this turkey to have kind of a fried skin, so I'm gonna put that in there first instead of the onions. Let's hope this doesn't bubble too much. Oh yeah, that's a good sound. And while that's cooking, the juices are simmering out of the fat. Preparing my sweet potato. All right, let's check what's going on. Oh yeah, that skin looks perfect. Flip her over. Give her a little cook on the other side. Mmm, turkey skin. Let's check it out. Yeah, a little bit of browning there and in the tagine. I'm gonna take her out. Heavy. Put back in the marinade just because I don't want dirty another bowl. I'll throw my onions in there now. Hit the onion with a little bit of salt. I'll put that turkey right back on top of those onions. Wow, what do you think? Skin side down or up? Let's go down. No, up. And then the juices will stay in there. And the skin will be like a jacket for it. Assemble it with my sweet potatoes. Let's see, these might be a little too big, some of these. And sweet potatoes in the tagine today because that's what mom always cooks at Thanksgiving is some sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes would probably work too. Or this tagine could be served with a side of mashed potatoes. I'm gonna want some flavor on these, so I'm gonna just spoon some of my marshmallow marinade over the sweet potatoes. Oh yeah. Saffron, parsley, garlic, ras el hanout. This is going on top of my potatoes. I'm gonna cover it and say see you in a little bit. Oh, hopefully the sweet potatoes will shrink. Add some raisins to the mix. Haven't used these raisins since we made the, the couscous tafaya. Raisins everywhere. It's gonna add some sweetness to the sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping, buy some bread. Andrea's gonna be in charge of keeping an eye on the tagine, so if the tagine gets messed up, it's her fault, not mine. And we'll be back to check on it in an hour. Are you excited for tagine? Let's check on this tagine. The baby's sleeping, so I gotta be a little quiet. Ton of juice. Sweet potato is looking kinda cooked. Bubbles coming. 
and we have our tagine ready to eat. Looking forward to this. Ready? Mm hmm Oh, wow. We need to get a tagine. Oh, you put the... Uh, raisins. Raisins in there, yeah. yeah. I think it looks delicious. And sweet potato, I think it's gonna be delicious. I like sweet and spicy. That's what it is. It's tagine time. First bite of the potato. Rumi wants to try too. Yeah, look at that meat. Tender. Oh, Rumi. Mmm, so hot. I'm so hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Rumi agrees. Yeah, this is how it should be. Just tender, right? Tender coming off. Looks so good. And what's your reaction to that tagine? It's really good. I can't wait to try the sauce. You just had the turkey, and how was it? Delicious. I'm always afraid turkey is gonna be dry and hard and chewy, but it's not. Not in a tagine. I mean, look at that meat. Try another dip in there. It's still so hot, though. It just falls apart. Gets it in the sauce. Mm. The sweet potatoes could use a little salt, but if you get enough sauce on it, it's good. Don't mind the fork here. I'm cheating. Andrea showed me this neat trick where you just smash the potatoes and they mix with the juice and the raisins. And then you have mashed potatoes. Mm. Do you like really it? Good we're gonna do it, huh? Yeah, no problem. You know where some eaters. That hasn't changed. And very little burned, and it's not even stick to the ground. Some would say we didn't make the tagine right if there's not enough burnt bits in it. And it was on the fire for how long? At least three hours. Yeah, we went to walk to the next village and back. Don't tell anyone. Tagine after a couple of months, huh? Maybe a month. The last one was salmon. Yeah. I think this is better. It's very similar. It's the sweet potato and cranberries instead of raisins. But now we have the ras al hanout. We put some saffron in there. It gives it this nice staining color. Or it could be the turmeric in the ras al hanout. But I think it's the saffron. A little bit left here. Help me out, Andrea. I'm helping you. You are talking. Oh, full though. Enough for two people. Yeah, I'm surprised. So happy Thanksgiving. Thanks to God for everything we've got and everything we don't have. And big thank you to our friend Sara for bringing us the tagine, bringing us the Rasa Hanout. Big hero of this video. Andrea, you got anything to say? Okay, happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the USA and abroad. And we'll see you next time. Hope you liked our tagine. Happy Thanksgiving.